This week is all about the chicken coop build that I did recently for ITV's Love Your Weekend with Alan Titchmarsh. So keep on watching if you want to see how I do it. Now, because the bottom of the coop is a drawer instead, I started off making the front panel, roughly working out where I wanted the drawer to be, which was about four or five inches off the ground to give it legs. I also worked out the door width and height for the chickens to go in. And after marking one piece, I lined up all the other uprights together, transferred the marks with a pencil and carpenter square. No need to keep measuring here. Then on the cross cut saw, I cut the horizontal pieces down to match. Now you might notice I built it all down my dad's wood yard and that's because why drive back and forth to a DIY store with a shopping list when everything was right here where I needed it and loads of off cuts to use as well. And once those were in place I knew where I needed to cut the door opening pieces. When it came to screwing the frame together this was actually the first time I showed my dad a pocket hole jig. He's been toenailing nails and screws for years but with my dad being a traditional carpenter, he thought the joints looked far too weak and took longer than pre-drilling and screwing. So that's what I did for the rest of the build. You know what dads are like? It's either their way or no way. Then I nailed part of it to the workbench, check for square with a tape measure from each diagonal point, tap it to be square, then nailed the rest down and pre-drilled and screwed the openings frame together. In fact, he insisted on me also adding additional screws to those pocket hole joins. By the way, if any of this isn't clear, I'll leave an in-depth blog post link below to my written tutorial with some free rough plans. And once the first panel was done, I then worked on the shorter back panel by nailing the framework directly on top. And remember the base would be a drawer and I'm matching that piece too but for this one, I worked the halfway point at the top and the bottom for another support in the middle for the cladding to be nailed to. As for the side panels, I decided to match the same for quickness, but with this design having a sloping roof, on these, I needed to match the two different heights of the front and back panel. Then to screw the top piece on, a tip that I learnt is instead of pre-drilling and screwing all the time, if you can sacrifice a little bit of wood, you could add some overhang either side, meaning you're not screwing right close to the edge where it's more likely to split, and then cut the excess off with a handsaw. And keep adding more supports where you need them. As for the final side panel, I copied the same sloping panel apart from the supports because this had to be different as we were adding an entrance on the side for a nest box. My dad also gave me some wider structural timber offcuts that I could add for internal supports, giving me more surface area to mount the next box to it later. And that's all four panels framework done. And it was time to clad it with tongue and groove cladding, working my way through the panels while they're stacked. Then work my way up with the shorter pieces to match either side of the chicken coop nest box and upwards to the top. Obviously because I had a sloping roof, my top straight piece didn't have a slope on right now. So I held a straight edge along to match the framework, drew along it, which my dad then cut for me because his industrial tools down there are proper beasts. But you could carefully use a jigsaw as I've done in the past or a router with a flush trim router bit as you'll see later. Then we had to remove the first cladded panel. Flip that one over so I've got two opposing pieces then continue cladding the rest. And now I'm back to that very first panel that I built and more cladding. But when it came to the door opening, this is where I decided to use a flush trim route a bit to remove the excess overhang from the framework. It's just so much quicker and tidier like this. Now to make the chicken coop door. I first started by adding some wooden beading 
on the internal frame. This would be a stop plat, then place an offcut of plywood, roughly cut with a 5mm clearance all the way around, before screwing down two hinges directly on top. Although you'll notice that I couldn't find any short screws on the day, so shortly I'll be angle grinding the excess off and filing anything smooth on the TV set. As for the catch to keep it closed, I used another offcut of plywood, pre-drilled it and screwed it above the door opening. Obviously make sure you're screwing it in a place where there's framework behind the cladding. And another great opportunity to use more offcuts was some strips of wood on the back of the door and I just eyeballed where I wanted these to go and nailed them down with panel pins. This is where I use the angle grinder. I also found a draw knob with a screw at the back, hammered it on to pierce it, then screwed it on by hand. And before I worked on the nest box build itself, I screwed the main body together so I could start working on the draw build. But I made sure all of my screws were accessible now, so I was able to dismantle it. But first things first, nail gun some trim to hide the exposed framework and protect any of the cut cladded edges. As for the nest box, I nailed and screwed two matching sloping side plywood pieces to some framework in between and another piece of plywood for the roof with no overlap on the back so it wouldn't get in the way when I screwed it to the coop. I also added a drop down door to it which was the same depth of the gap between the framework but again with some clearance and added two more hinges. But it also needed a floor to this so I'm adding some more trim for the plywood lining to go. Screwed the hinge door on Another trim as a stop light on the inside, a latch which I later changed to a draw knob on set and the plywood base to the trims that we added. Now sadly I didn't get much of the draw on film but my dad quickly added some trim for the draw to sit on top so it wouldn't fall through and the draw was made of four strips of ply and a plywood base nailed on which was easily replaceable if it got too dirty with chicken poo. And another piece of cladding on the front I also found a handle to screw on and a couple of days later I finally drove it to the ITV set including the pen that I'll show you very soon and had a camera crew film me putting it all together including the roof. First I used a straight edge to cut some felt down with a Stanley knife, placed it on top, folded it over and clout nailed it down before removing the excess with a sharp knife. And before screwing the whole thing together, I laid the next box on its front, the side panel with the hole on top with the cladding face down, and pre-drilled through the bottom frame and the upper cladding and screwed the two together. And because I was gonna add a pen later, I was very conscious about the gap where the legs are and I haven't done a boo-boo in a while and what a perfect opportunity to do it on TV in front of Alan and that was when I covered the gap using some off-cut lap panels from another project I later realized that I'd also cladded over the drawer slot too thankfully it was really easy to remove with a hammer lower it down nail it again and cut the excess off quickly with a jigsaw and I was running out of time as well. And now it's screwed all together, as I showed you earlier. For the roof, I just used some plywood strips, buttered together, and I had to be really quick with a combination square for the overhang, and screwed it down to the chicken coop's frame. And finally, for the felt roof, I folded over the edges and nailed down but if I had more time and let's be honest I'm not always the quickest of workers I was planning to add some trim along the edge of the roof to hide all the clout nails it just generally finishes it off and here's how it looked and you can see it being used on ITV show Love Your Weekend with Alan Titchmarsh I'll leave an ITV Hub playback link below if you want to check it out and there's so many other different ways you can build a chicken coop but I can't take credit for the design itself because I copied the one that my parents made for their own at home. Anyway, I do have a question because on the day 
on the show, I didn't actually treat it and, well, I didn't have time. The other thing was, I never even found a official pet safe wood preserver so if anybody knows any below i'd love to know because then i can update the blog post and know for reference anyway hopefully i'll catch you soon bye